so yeah in the current version of my in pharma ai we have a slight problem so yeah the problem is let me explain so what happens is uh, when this uh, farmer starts working so basically what happens is he gets some random point around himself and go there and randomly maybe start working or go to another place and start working so that's the basic logic so the problem with this approach is so let's say if the character is in a place like this then sometimes he can get a location uh, outside the fence so if that happens the character will walk outside the fence and there he will start working so that's uh, the problem I am going to address today so yeah you didn't see that problem yet uh, but that happens so the reason is that so yeah to resolve that problem let's take a look at the behavior tree of this character and so here I am setting this uh, the target location the character should move to next using this s target location s set target location service so here what I just see is as I explained before get the character's current location and get some random point within the radius of 2000 around the current location a random reachable point and can move the character through the AI to that point so yeah so in order to resolve this this is what I'm planning to do so yeah I'm going to spawn this character yeah I'm going to remember the spawning location of this character and instead of getting a random location I am going to always return some point around the initial location of that character within some radius that does not exceed the boundaries of the farmland so how can I do that so if you remember I have created BPI NPC and blueprint a blueprint interface which I define functions relevant to NPC characters so there I have implemented this added this get next location function if you don't have this uh, interface all you have to do is right click and under blueprints create blueprint interface and there just add a new function and name it as get next location so and then go to the character the civilian character and add the interface ppi npc so here i also implement this ppi character interface as well but the reason that i am not going to put get find get next location function inside this ppi character interface is that it will make uh, the you know there is a principle called interface segregation I think that's what happened in here so yeah if I put the NPC character related functions as well inside this PPI character interface then this will soon become cluttered and not clear so yeah that's why I were created a different interface for that purpose Right now in the character now that I have added this BPI NPC and compile here we get get next location function this uh, is implemented because I have implemented the BPI NPC blueprint interface so right now here I need to return a random location around the initial location of the character so for that I need to know the initial location of the character so how do I know that so yeah for that I have to add a new vector 
I'll call it initial location and change the variable type to vector and here in the begin play set uh, the initial location with the get actor location like this now that I have the initial location here get the initial location and get random reachable point in radius I'll set this to 2000 and return that location compile now I can make sure that this character will always try to go to a location that is within this radius uh, from the original or initial location that means maybe a circle within a circle like this so I can make sure that this character never goes out of the boundaries of this farmland so yeah now that I have implemented this function I need to consume it in here set target location service so instead of just using the get actor location I'm gonna get the controlled pawn and get next location I can call it without doing any kind of a casting only because I have implemented that function through an interface right now let's compile save and yeah let's play the game now okay now let's see what happens oh why is he going out all right maybe 2000 is a bit too much yeah let's check it what's the current location 180509 so if I move it like this okay uh, let's check it like this this is uh, 3150 what happens if I make this one 510 okay. now instead of 3 wait why can't I ah it was ah it was decimal numbers ok sorry instead of 18308 let me type 182 wait okay so that means 200 is uh, too much sorry 2000 is too much so I reduce the radius to 1000 compile and let's play the game okay let's see what happens now let me go to the debug camera no still not working why does he keep going outside the radius ah sorry sorry I'm really sorry um, in here okay I shouldn't do this now I should directly use 
the target location instead of getting this random location again so that's the problem all right now it should work all right so yeah now he should stay within the defined radius around his initial location yeah I'm pretty sure that this works okay so yeah, I'll stop this episode at this point and uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and i will soon release yeah i did something different yesterday so i played a game and share my thoughts on that so yeah i hope you guys liked it and yeah uh, okay i'll stop this episode at this point and see you in the next episode and thanks for watching goodbye